hello everyone welcome to the second part of make your first android app tutorial so in the previous video we saw how we can get started with android studio so in this video we will start coding for our dice roller application so as you can see we have the main activity and the activity main.xml file here so let's get started with the ui of our application first let's go into activity main.xml from here i'll go to or i'll click on this is split button so here you can see this is our ui and this is the codes for our ui okay so let's uh, design our ui first so as i have told you earlier that in this video we will make a simple dice roller application which will uh, generate any number between 1 to 6 in every toss so for the ui we will be using these images i have already prepared them so i'll just copy them and don't worry i'll give the download link of these images in the description so just copy all of them and go back to your android studio then go to this drawable folder right click on it and paste it here okay refactor all right so here we have all the images for the dice numbers now we will just remove this constraint layout from here and i'll add a new linear layout and then i'll give some attributes here inside this linear layout tag i'll set the orientation to vertical and i'll also change the gravity of this layout to be center all right and then i'll just remove this text view and here i'll add another let's add another text view okay and for the width i'll write wrap content for the height i'll also pass wrap content i'll give this text view an id so that we can uh, refer this inside our main activity.java class so i'll call this score text all right and i'll set the text size of this text view to 24 sp let's also change the text color to color black after that outside of this text view i'll add a new image view where we will load the dice images on every toss so i'll write image view and here for the width i'll pass let's say 250 dp and for the height i'll also pass 250 dp all right let's give this image view also an id i'll call this dice image and then under this image view i'll add a new button which will trigger the toss so i'll create a button for the width i'll pass uh, let's say wrap content and wrap content oops i wrote here match parent let's change this to wrap content all right i'll give this button an id i'll call this button toss button toss all right then for the text inside this button i'll write toss let's change the text size also to let's say 26 sp all right so that's it for our ui now we can start coding inside our main activity.java class so let's go here and in this video i am not going into much detail if you want me to make a detailed uh, video on android studio or android development then you can comment down below and if you are watching this video like after a couple of months then chances are i have already made a separate video for this you can check my channel all right so let's write some code here in the main activity.java so at first we need to initialize our views so this text view this image view this button we need to initialize them so let's quickly do that 
so here inside this class I'll declare objects for our uh, text view image view and button so for the text view I'll call the text view class and I'll create an object let's call this text view okay then we had a image view so I'll call this image view class and I'll create an object called image view and then we had a button so I'll call the button class and I'll create an object of this called button okay so we have created objects and now we need to initialize them with these specific views okay so for the text view we passed the id score text so let's quickly initialize this text view to this one for this we need to go inside here the on create method inside here i'll write text view that we wrote here equals find view by id and here we need to pass the id that we gave here the score text okay so here i'll write r dot id dot score text okay similarly i'll initialize the image view and the button so for the button equals find view by id r dot id dot button toss then for the image view it was r dot id dot uh, dice image all right so now we'll need to generate the toss method for our button so that every time we click on the button it will generate a number between 1 to 6 and it will load the specific image for that number all right so we'll just simply create a on click listener for our button so inside this on create method i'll call our button dot set on click listener and inside the parameter i'll pass new view dot on click listener all right that will generate this method the on click method here inside here we'll write the code to generate the random number here we'll use the random class to generate the random number so for this I'll call the random class I'll create a object called random equals new random then I'll take a new variable to store the random number so I'll create a integer variable I'll call this score and here I'll call the random class object random dot next end and here in the parameter I'll pass 6 so in this case as we are passing 6 it will return as a random number between 0 and 6 so it will include 0 and it will exclude the 6 so which is not uh, appropriate for our case because we won't load the number 0 because in the dice there is no such number like 0 so in order to quickly solve this we will just uh, add 1 so it will if it returns 0 it will be 1 and if it returns 5 it will be 6 okay so I think that's appropriate for our code and then we can show the score inside our score text view which is this one so I'll write text view dot set text and here we'll pass our score so as our score is in integer we need to convert this or cast this into a string because we are showing this inside a text view so for this i'll write a string dot value of and then insert the parameter i'll pass a score so that will cast our integer score into a string all right so now whenever we will click on the button it will generate a random number between 1 to 6 and it will show inside the text view so let's run our application and see if our app is working fine or not so in order to run and test our application there are two ways we can use the android virtual device or the emulator and we can also use our android smartphone to test our application okay 
so at first let's see how we can use the android emulator for this we need to go here the avd manager click on this it will launch this window from here we can create a new virtual device all right so if your computer doesn't have minimum 8 gb ram or if it is running uh, with uh, a dual core processor then i won't recommend using this android virtual device because that will make your android studio or your pc much slower so in that case we can use our android smartphone as our test device so in order to connect your android smartphone for this you need to enable the usb debugging from your android device let me show you how we can do that all right at first go to the settings of your android smartphone and search for about phone from here you have to tap on the build number for seven times in my case i don't have the build number so i need to click on this miui version seven times okay so after tapping it will uh, tell you that you are a developer now or your developer option has been enabled so now we need to search for the developer options we can easily find it uh, somewhere here let's go to the additional settings and here we have the developer options right here okay let's go into that from here we need to enable this usb debugging all right so you can also enable this install via usb okay so after you are done we can start uh, testing our app in our device for this we need to connect our android smartphone to our computer with a usb cable and after connecting it will show your android device's name here all right and then we can run our application by clicking this button all right let's allow the installation as you can see our app is now installed and if we click on this toss button it generated a random number six let's click on this again a random number one so every time we will click on this toss button it will generate a new random number all right okay so our app is working fine now we can uh, write some more code to show the image files inside our image view so let's quickly do that so here i'll write switch and i'll search for the score so switch score and inside the body i'll write case if the score is one then we'll show uh, or load the dice one image so uh, we will load these images inside this image view so i'll call this image view dot set image resource this one and here we need to pass this image id all right so i'll write uh, r dot drawable dot dice one okay so similarly we will change for uh, the rest five cases so i'll just okay we need to put a break here all right now we'll just copy this uh, five more times okay so now let's change the cases so for the case 2 we'll load dice image 2 for the case 3 we'll load the dice 3 for the image uh, score 4 we'll load dice 4 for the score 5 we'll load dice 5 for the score 6 we'll load dice 6 all right so that will now load the images each time we get a random number so let's run our application again to see the changes
so our app is now installed again and let's click on the toss as you can see we have got the random number three and we have also got the image for three let's uh, toss again we have got five one we have got four five okay so now that will uh, load every time we toss we it will load the image for that specific score okay so that was the application we are trying to make this is a simple application so in the next video we will see how we can generate apk file for our uh, application and how we can upload that apk file in the play store thank you so much for watching